down. So protein, as, I, as we mentioned, plays a huge role in many aspects of our metabolism and many aspects of our body. But we feel that maybe protein has been kind of focused on only for weight loss. And the problem is I think most people focus on dieting as how can I lose weight instead of really focusing on health. But a lot of people are actually overlooking what proteins do for the body, what they do with carbs, but also sometimes the malabsorption that can occur and the deficiencies that can, have, can occur if we eat too much protein and not carbs, etc. So a lot of people overlooking that and actually losing weight or eating tons of protein at the expense of damaging their metabolism. Now, if we look at digestion and the um, metabolism of proteins, remember from lesson one, way back when, that proteins are broken down in the stomach. And in the stomach, this is where you have a high acidic environment. And it's the acidity, that acidity in the stomach, that actually breaks down protein. So you need that acidity to actually break down your proteins, utilize them, absorb them, and actually help, help with uh, cell metabolism. It's the acid as well that unlocks the protein structure in a way that allows enzymes to gain access to the amino acids in the protein chain. So if we're hypochlorhydric, which is low stomach acid in a sense, this can not only compromise your immune system, because remember hydrochloric acid is actually your first line of defense. It's part of your immune system and part of your gut, part of digestion. Um, so it can affect protein digestion if you're hypochlorhydric. Hypochlorhydria is associated with a damaged metabolism and is associated with stress, of course, and aging. Now, most say it's a part of aging. They'll say, as you get older, you're hypochlorhydric. Everyone over the age of 60 or 70 is actually achlorhydric. Well, the achlorhydric means you're not producing any. Well, the question is, if you're really studying metabolism, if as you age you're not regulating blood sugar and you eat tons of unsaturated fats, you're stressed all the time, whatever it may be, and your metabolism slows down, and you essentially become estrogen dominant, you're loaded in unsaturated fats, you're hypercortisol, you're hyperadrenaline. That slows down your metabolism, which is going to slow down digestion, and over time the body's going to adapt to that, and over time you're going to stop producing hydrochloric acid. So that, in a sense, can actually alter the metabolism of protein. So stress can alter how we metabolize protein. Because if you look at lactose intolerance, I've talked about this before, we have to think about if there's something wrong with the if, – if we're – we can't break down a food. Is it really a food? No, because in your small intestine, you have microvilli that release sucrase, lactase, etc. to break down proteins, carbs, fats. So you release lactase to break down lactose. And if you do your research, the microvilli can be degraded from gluten, from alcohol, from stress, from being hypochlorhydric, putrefying foods, being in an inflamed state being hypothyroid, slowing down digestion, altering pH, excess cortisol, 